Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to the Grau 556 Gold Camel Guide in Modern Warfare and this gun is so much fun to use. I think it's currently my favorite assault rifle. That could just be because it's new and we're in that honeymoon phase with the new assault rifle, but I like it a little bit more than the M13. The fire rate's a little bit slower, but the damage is a little bit higher to kind of balance that out there from what I've been using. In the gameplay in the background, we got an absolute slammer today, 109 and 19 on Rust. Rust is pretty much the new meta for getting camos because you can get your long shots super easily, your mounted kill super easily, your hip fire super easily. It was just, I did this gun in about three hours, which is the fastest I think I've ever done an assault rifle ever, and that was without double weapon XP, so that's always fun. Hopping right into the attachments that I use, keep in mind that the attachments are a subjective thing, and you guys can put whatever you want on, but for those who are interested in what I use, I have the monolithic suppressor for the muzzle, which is great because it's that sound suppression and increased damage range. The underbarrel is the Ranger foregrip for that increased accuracy. The ammunition, I have the 60 round mag. For the perk, I have fully loaded. And then for the optic, I have the Merc thermal optic. I only use the thermal optic on Rust just because when I'm in like the actual tower thing, whatever you want to call it, I tend to find that it helps like spotting enemies a little bit easier and if you're fresh off of a spawn and enemies are spawn trapping you if you throw smoke down you can kind of kill them before they can even get you anyway let's hop right into the challenges today the first one spray paint super easy 800 kills you will do this insanely fast and straightforward next is woodland which is 125 headshots i found while using any of the four times three times or thermal optics that headshots were super easy to get I've kind of trained myself over the years to just aim for the heads for getting camos anyway, so it's a little bit easier for me, but if you guys are having troubles and you're playing core, try playing realism because it is a one-shot headshot, and then also try playing hardcore because it's a one-shot headshot as well. Digital is going to be 160 crouch kills, super straightforward, if you can crouch you can get some kills. What I like to do on Rust is I like to climb either to the second level of the tower or all the way to the top and I'll crouch and I'll just basically spawn trap and the crouch kills were done super fast. Next is going to be Dragon which is 75 hipfire kills. Obviously if you play a map like Shipment, hipfire kills are going to be way easier for you but if you're playing on Rust I highly recommend staying on the ground floor of the tower and then just waiting for enemies to push you and you can get some super easy hip fire kills there as well and if you don't like rust because of spawn camping and if you don't like shipment and you just like to play ground war or something inside the buildings of karst river quarry easy hip fire kills there as well next is going to be splinter which is 100 long shots now this is the one time i didn't play rust while doing this gun i just hopped into a few games of ground war did my long shots there and called it a day so super straightforward there make sure just make sure that you have distance in between you and the enemy, so you'll knock that out pretty quick. Next is going to be the topo kills, which is 100 mounted kills. What I like to do is head to the top of the tower, and I like to place a deployable cover so I can lean basically wherever I want, and mount my gun up, and then just drop a bunch of kills, spawn trapping the enemy. Spawn trapping definitely works the best in hardcore headquarters and hardcore domination just because you can kill easier and the enemies have less time to react. Tiger is 180 kills with 5 attachments, super straightforward once again as long as your Growl 556 has 5 attachments equipped regardless of what they are, each kill will go towards Tiger which leads us into Stripes which is 50 kills shortly after reloading. I did this naturally, I honestly didn't even focus on this at all. Just because you reload so much with the Growl anyway, you will be getting the Stripes camo done super fast. Now if you do want to get this done as soon as possible, throw on sleight of hand, reload as often as you can and stripes will eventually be completed reptile is 110 kills with no attachments and just like tiger as long as you have no attachments on your gun whatsoever each kill will go towards reptile regardless of what other challenges you are working on and that leads us off with skulls which is three kills without dying 35 times super easy to do three kills in one life or i guess a triple kill or just getting three kills without dying super straightforward it does also stack if you guys don't know Six kills will count for two, nine for three, and uh, 12 for four, and so on and so forth. You can do the math. That is going to progress up. Anyway, that's going to be the gold gun guide. Let me know what you guys think of the gun and the season in general. And yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you guys did like, leave a like. If you guys dislike, 
you guys can dislike as well. However, it is scientifically proven that if you leave a like, it is a certified bra moment. And if you are a disliker, you are a herb. If you guys don't know what that is, that's bra spelled backwards. You're a herb, idiot. You're a herb. Anyway, I'm about to head out. And if there is one, I'll see you in the next one. Also, by the way, check the links in the description for the Damascus playlist and the Discord stuff. Peace.